What I'm talking about today might just be the most important thing that I will ever talk about on this channel, and I'm not exaggerating. But first, let me ask you a few questions to see if what I'm talking about actually applies to you. So do you struggle with self-confidence? Do you struggle with low self-worth? Do you have this brutal inner critic that won't let you leave you alone, that makes you compare yourself to everyone else? Do you procrastinate? Do you like wander around sort of aimlessly with no purpose or direction? Do you have this kind of failure to launch syndrome where maybe earlier in life you kind of knew that you were destined for something kind of greater or your, your potential was much greater than what you've shown already? But maybe you're in your 30s or maybe 40s or maybe even older, but you ever you, you just felt you feel right now that you're like, I've not achieved what I needed what I wanted to. I've, I've not reached my potential. I had someone describe this to me the other day as living life with the handbrake on. You know when you're in a car and you have a handbrake on that's like 70 percent up, you're revving, you're expending energy and fuel, but you, it's harder to get anywhere. Maybe you compare yourself to other people who feel like they don't even have a handbrake. And you're like, hang on a minute, how do they achieve these things? Maybe people from school that you compare yourself to. Mate, if everything that I just talked about, if you can relate to all this, then what I'm talking about in today's video might just be the root cause of it all. In fact, I, I firmly believe that for the majority of men, this is the, the core reason of it, all of it. And that is your relationship with your father. Let me ask you another question. What was your relationship like with your father? What kind of man was your father growing up? Was he uh, strong without being too harsh? Was he emotionally present? Was he encouraging? Was he healthily challenging towards you? Did he um, bring your attention and, and like help you realize your own strength and capacity to deal with things? Was he a, a loving, consistently loving and fatherly presence? Did he give you a role model for what masculinity looks like, for what a healthy, present, and yet capable masculine man looks like? Did he give you that? Or was he abusive, both physically or emotionally? Was he passive? Was he like a wet blanket, letting mum rule the house while he just sort of shuffles around saying, yes, dear? Or, mate, and if this is the case, then fucking hell, I'm sorry. Like, honestly, was he not even there? Was he not even in the picture? Regardless of the details, mate, one thing is for certain. Men need their fathers. Nature turns girls into women. Fathers turn boys into men. That's how it should be. But honestly, how many of us, me included, had a healthy, healthily masculine father figure? Very few of us. I certainly didn't. My experience of my father was one of fear, terror, anxiety. He could fly off the handle at a moment's notice. The anxiety I struggle with and consistently occasionally struggle with, even today, as a man, stems back to a childhood filled with Dread and anticipation. What kind of mood is he in? Is he going to fly off the handle? I need to edit myself and say the right things to avoid upsetting him. Any wonder why I had social anxiety? Any wonder why I had anxiety at all? It's no surprise. But I wanted just to share, you, share that with you to let you know how it relates and to let you know that I understand. I'm in the trenches with you, man. I'm not speaking to you like I'm some self-help guru. I'm just bringing your attention to what I believe to be the core wound of men today. Philosophers have said, have suggested that we live in the age of the absent father. Our father's fathers very rarely taught our fathers how, to, our grandfathers very rarely taught our fathers how to be a good man, how to be emotionally present, how to handle their emotions without drinking or without being a workaholic or without being some addict to, to something else. Our fathers were out working to support the family, which means we were financially well off sometimes. Maybe we were financially supported, but we were not emotionally supported. We did not get the things we needed. And here's what happens when, that, when, when that's the case. If we don't get what we need as a kid, then that can leave a scar 
And in some cases, that can leave a wound that never healed. That means that we are emotionally still stuck back there. Or a part of us is still emotionally stuck back there. When we were 6 or 7 or 8. Or in some cases, even 14 or 16. It doesn't matter. We call it the younger self. It's the part of our mind that's, that suffered. But we never dealt with it. We never processed it. And there's countless men nowadays that are chasing fame, money, Bugattis, status. They're chasing all these things. Why? Not because they really want them, but because they are trying to quiet the screaming, terrified boy in their minds. Here's one thing for certain, I know for certain. If you want to become the powerful, strong, emotionally resilient, capable, courageous, and independent man that you know you can be, that we know we can be, healing this wound, the father wound, healing this wound should be at the top of our list of priorities. Why? Because, mate, if we've been living life with the handbrake on, 80% up, burning all our fuel, exhausting ourselves, you probably don't have a lot of energy, do you? But then you might come across some other YouTube channels that tell you to put the fucking floor, put floor the pedal, burn more fuel, burn more energy. They're not telling you to look at the handbrake, but that's exactly what I'm doing right now, mate. What's blocking you? What's stuck? What's getting in your way? If your father wasn't the man you needed to, it's almost certainly this. Life only started getting better for me, truly getting better for me when I turned towards my father wound and started to heal it. But how do we heal it? The answer, mate, is simple. It's not easy. But I'm going to explain to you in a simple sentence. We heal the father wound when we live as if our father is dead and become our own father. We do that by turning towards the little boy in our mind and we give him everything that he didn't get when we were a boy. That is how we heal the father wound. We reparent ourselves. We become everything that we needed. This is how you heal the wounds that keep you trapped. This is how you build a kind of unshakable self-love, self-worth, self-confidence. This is how you quiet that vicious inner critic. This is how you become a man who knows himself knows who he is, knows exactly what he's here to do. This is how you become genuinely respected without having to be you know, Andrew Tate or trying to, trying to be performative in your masculinity. This is how you do it. You focus on this, mate, your life will change, not just in short bursts before your comfort zone kicks in and pulls you back in again. This is how your life changes forever because you're healing the core wound that holds you back and has been holding you back for a very long time. Now there's two things I wanna to talk to you about now. The first thing, on the 29th of July this month, at the end of this month, I'm gonna be kicking off something that is probably the most important thing, service, product, or anything I will offer on this channel. But in order to learn about it, you need to be on my mailing list. So click the link in the pinned comment down below, put your email address in, you will get given, you'll be given a, a free 30 day shadow work journal to do the inner work on yourself with a high impact writing prompt every single day. But you'll also be on my mailing list so that you'll actually get information about that. You'll also get an exclusive discount for people that are just on my mailing list. So you really want to know that. But the offering is all about healing this father wound. And the second thing I want to show you, man, is probably the most vulnerable video I've ever made on this channel. I believe that in order to heal, we need to see other men doing it. We need to have role models. We need to know, we need to get vulnerable. We need to get truthful. We need to stop bullshitting ourselves and get real. So in this video that I'm gonna put up on the screen right here, I tell you from start to finish, it's a long video, but it's worth it, about how I healed my father wound and all the details, all the messy, emotionally challenging details in that video, give it a watch and you will see how, what it looks like for a man to go through a healing journey. You'll see it before your very eyes. So click that video, check it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, mate.